The ILI Rebellion simplified Chinese, Yi Ning Shibian traditional Chinese, Yi Ning Shibian pinyin, Yi Ning Shibian was a Soviet-backed revolt against the Kuomintang government of the Republic of China in 1944. Following the rebellion, the rebels established the provisional government of the Second East Turkestan Republic in 1944. The ILI rebellion was the start of the Three Districts Revolution, simplified Chinese, San Ku Ming traditional Chinese, San Ku Ming Pinyin, San Ku Jeming, which lasted from 1944 to 1949. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Background. The Soviet Union installed Sheng Shikai as its puppet ruler in Xinjiang in the 1934 Soviet invasion of Xinjiang and later further entrenched its position in the Islamic Rebellion in Xinjiang 1937. Soviet Red Army forces were stationed in Xinjiang oases, such as the Soviet 8th Regiment in Hami, and Soviet technicians and engineers flooded the province. During World War II the Kuomintang government of the Republic of China sought to undermine the Soviet presence in Xinjiang and retake the province from Soviet control. The Kuomintang worked with the Wei Muslim Ma clique warlord of Qinghai, Gen. Ma Bufang, to build up its military forces around Xinjiang and increase the pressure on Sheng Shikai and the Soviets. In 1942 Shang Shikai switched his allegiance to the Kuomintang after major Soviet defeats at the hands of the Germans in World War II. All Soviet Red Army military forces and technicians residing in the province were expelled, and the Republic of China National Revolutionary Army units and soldiers belonging to Ma Bufang moved into Xinjiang to take control of the province. Ma Bufang helped the Kuomintang build roadways linking Qinghai and Xinjiang, which helped both of them bring Xinjiang under their influence. In 1944 the Soviets took advantage of discontent among the Turkic peoples of the ILI region in northern Xinjiang to support a rebellion against Kuomintang rule in the province in order to reassert Soviet influence in the region. Fighting Kulya Revolt Many of the Turkic peoples of the ILI region of Xinjiang had close cultural, political and economic ties with Russia and then the Soviet Union. Many of them were educated in the Soviet Union and a community of Russian settlers lived in the region. As a result, many of the Turkic rebels fled to the Soviet Union and obtained Soviet assistance in creating the Sinkang Turkic People's Liberation Committee in 1943 to revolt against Chinese Kuomintang rule in ILI. The pro-Soviet Uyghur who later became leader of the revolt, Emetjan Qasim, was Soviet-educated and described as Stalin's man, and as a communist-minded progressive. Liu Bin Di was a Wei Muslim Kuomintang KMT officer sent by officials in Urumqi to subdue the high area and crush the Turkic Muslims, who were prepared to overthrow Chinese rule. His mission failed because his troops arrived too late. Several Turkic cavalry units armed by the Soviets crossed into China in the direction of Kolja. In November 1944 Liu was killed by Turkic Uyghur and Kazakh rebels backed by the Soviet Union. This started the ILI rebellion, with the Uyghur ILI rebel army fighting against Republic of China forces. The rebels assaulted Kulya on 7 November 1944 and rapidly took over parts of the city, massacring KMT troops. However, the rebels encountered fierce resistance from KMT forces holed up in the power and central police stations and did not take them until the 13th. The creation of the East Turkestan Republic ETR was declared on the 15th. The Soviet army assisted the ILI Uyghur army in capturing several towns and airbases. Non-communist Russians like white Russians and Russian settlers who had lived in Xinjiang since the 19th century also helped the Soviet Red Army and the ILI Army rebels. They suffered heavy losses. Many leaders of the East Turkestan Republic were Soviet agents or affiliated with the Soviet Union, like Abdulkaram Abbas, Isak Beg, Saifuddin Azizi and the white Russians F. Leskin, A. Polinov and Glimkin. When the rebels ran into trouble taking the vital Arambek airfield from the Chinese, Soviet military forces directly intervened to help mortar Arambek and reduce the Chinese stronghold. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Massacres. The rebels engaged in massacres of Han Chinese civilians, especially targeting people affiliated with the KMT and Sheng Shikai. In the 
Kolya Declaration, issued on 5 January 1945, the East Turkestan Republic proclaimed that it would sweep away the Han Chinese, threatening to extract a blood debt from the Han. The declaration also declared that the Republic would seek to especially establish cordial ties with the Soviets. The ETR later de-emphasized the anti-Han tone in its official proclamations after they were done massacring most of the Han civilians in their area. The massacres against the Han occurred mostly during 1944–45, with the KMT responding in kind by torturing, killing and mutilating ETR prisoners. In territory controlled by the ETR, like Kulya, various repressive measures were carried out, such as establishing a Soviet-style secret police organization, barring Han from owning weapons and making Russian and Turkic languages official and not Chinese. While the non-Muslim Tungusic peoples like the XIBE played a large role in helping the rebels by supplying them with crops, the local Muslim Tungan Wei in ILI gave either an insignificant and negligible contribution to the rebels or did not assist them at all. Topic. Formation of the ILI National Army The ILI National Army which was established on 8 April 1945 as the military arm of the ETR, was led by the Kyrgyz Isak Beg and the White Russians Polonov and Leskin, all three were pro-Soviet and had a history of military service with Soviet-associated forces. The Soviets supplied the INA with ammunition and Russian-style uniforms, and Soviet troops directly helped INA troops fight against the Chinese forces. The INA uniforms and flags all had insignia with the Russian acronym for East Turkestan Republic, Vitor in Cyrillic, Vostoknaturkstanska Republic. The Soviets admitted their support of the rebels decades later when they transmitted a radio broadcast in Uyghur from Radio Tashkent into Xinjiang on 14 May 1967, boasting of the fact that the Soviets had trained and armed the East Turkestan Republic forces against China. Thousands of Soviet troops assisted Turkic rebels in fighting the Chinese army. In October 1945 suspected Soviet planes attacked Chinese positions, as the Soviet Red Army and Turkic Uyghur ILI Army advanced with Soviet air support against poorly prepared Chinese forces, they almost succeeded in reaching Urumqi, however, the Chinese military threw up rings of defenses around the area, sending Chinese Muslim cavalry to halt the advance of the Turkic Muslim rebels. Thousands of Chinese Muslim troops under Gen. Ma Bufang and his nephew Gen. Ma Chengshong poured into Xinjiang from Qinghai to combat the Soviet and Turkic Uyghur forces. Much of the ILI army and equipment originated from the Soviet Union. The ILI rebel army pushed Chinese forces across the plains and reached Kashgar, Koglik and Yarkand. However, the Uyghurs in the oases gave no support to the Soviet-backed rebels and, as a result, the Chinese army was able to expel them. The ILI rebels then butchered livestock belonging to Kyrgyz and Tajiks of Xinjiang. The Soviet-backed insurgents destroyed Tajik and Kyrgyz crops and moved aggressively against the Tajiks and Kyrgyz of China. The Chinese beat back the Soviet-supported rebellion in Sarikal from August 1945-46, defeating the siege of the tribesmen around Yarkand when they had rose up in rebellion in Nanchang around Sarikal, and killing Red Army officers, the Chinese Muslim Ma Clique warlord of Qinghai, Ma Bufang, was sent with his cavalry to Urumqi by the Kuomintang in 1945 to protect it from the Uyghur rebels of ILI. In 1945 the Tungan 5th and 42nd Cavalry were sent from Qinghai to Xinjiang, where they reinforced the KMT 2nd Army, made up of four divisions. Their combined forces totaled 100,000 Wei and Han troops serving under KMT command in 1945. It was reported the Soviets was eager to liquidate Ma Bufang, Gen. Ma Chengshong, another Wei Ma clique officer and nephew of Ma Bufang, commanded the 1st Cavalry Division in Xinjiang under the KMT, which was formerly the Gansu 5th Cavalry Army. A ceasefire was declared in 1946, with the Second East Turkestan Republic in control of ILI and the Chinese in control of the rest of Xinjiang, including Urumqi. 1947 unrest Unpopular Governor Wu Zhongxin was replaced after the ceasefire with Zhang Zhizhong, who implemented pro-minority policies to placate the Uyghur population. 
Bai Chongxi, the defense minister of China and a Muslim, was considered for appointment in 1947 as governor of Xinjiang, but the position was given instead to Masud Sabri, a pro-Kuomintang Uyghur who was anti-Soviet. Sabri was close to conservatives in the CC clique of the Kuomintang and undid all of Zhang Zhejiang's pro-minority reforms, which set off revolts and riots among the Uyghurs in oases like Turfan. The Turkic Uyghurs were being subjected to Soviet propaganda. In Urumqi, Uyghur Muslim women who married Han Chinese men were assaulted by hordes of Uyghur Muslims on the 11th of July 1947, and the women were seized and kidnapped by the hordes. Old Uyghur Muslim men forcibly married the women. In response to the chaos, a curfew was placed at 11 p.m. The marriages between Muslim Uyghur women and Han Chinese men infuriated Uyghur leader Isa Yusuf Alptakan, Ma Chengshang, a Kuomintang Chinese Muslim general and the nephew of Ma Bufang, allegedly used his Chinese Muslim cavalry to butcher Uyghurs during an uprising in 1948 in Turfan. Ma Chengshang was the commander of the 5th Cavalry Unit, which was stationed in Xinjiang. Over 60,000 soldiers were in the ILI army according to Gen. Sung. Ahmed Emetjan Qasim was strongly against Masood Sabri becoming governor. Emetjan Qasim Ahmed Jan, the Uyghur ILI leader, demanded that Sabri be sacked as governor as one of the conditions for his agreeing to visit Nanjing. All races in the ILI region were forcibly conscripted into the Uyghur ILI army except the Han. The Uyghurs and Soviets massacred Han living in ILI and drove them from the region. Salar Muslim Jen Han Yaowen, who served under Ma Bufang, commanded the Pao and Dewey, Bao and Dewey pacification soldiers, composed of three 340-man battalions. They were composed of men of many groups, including Kazakhs, Mongols and White Russians serving the Chinese regime. He served with Osman Bachur and his Kazakh forces in fighting the Etrili Uyghur and Soviet forces. The ETR forces in the Ashan zone were attacked, defeated and killed by Osman's Kazakh forces during an offensive in September 1947, supported by the Chinese. Osman's Kazakhs seized most of the towns in the Ashan zone from the ETR. The acting Soviet consul at Chenghua, Dipshatov, directed the Red Army in aiding ETRILI forces against Osman's Kazakhs. The KMTCC clique employed countermeasures in Xinjiang to prevent the conservative, traditionalist religious Uyghurs in the oases in southern Xinjiang from defecting to the pro Soviet, pro Russian ETR Uyghurs in ILI in northern Xinjiang. The KMT allowed three anti-Soviet, pan-Turkic nationalist Uyghurs Masood Sabri, Muhammad Amin Bugra and Isa Yusuf Alptakan to write and publish pan-Turkic nationalist propaganda in order to incite the Turkic peoples against the Soviets, and the Soviets were greatly angered by this. Anti-Soviet sentiment was espoused by Isa while pro-Soviet sentiment was espoused by Burhan. The Soviets were angered by Isa. Uyghur linguist Ibrahim Mutai opposed the Second East Turkestan Republic and was against the ILI rebellion because it was backed by the Soviets and Stalin. Former ETR leader Saifuddin Azizi later apologized to Ibrahim and admitted that his opposition to the East Turkestan Republic was the correct thing to do. American telegrams reported that the Soviet secret police threatened to assassinate Muslim leaders from Aining and put pressure on them to flee to Inner China. Via Tiwa Urumqi. White Russians grew fearful of Muslim mobs as they chanted, We freed ourselves from the yellow men, now we must destroy the white. <laughs> Pei Ta Shan incident The Mongolian People's Republic became involved in a border dispute with the Republic of China, as a result of which a Chinese Muslim Wei cavalry regiment was sent in response by the Chinese government to attack Mongol and Soviet positions. As commander of the 1st Cavalry Division, Maj. General Han Yaowen was sent by the Kuomintang Military Command to Beidashan with a company of troops to reinforce Ma Shijun. They arrived approximately three months before the fighting broke out. At Pei Ta Shan, Gen. Han was in command of all the Muslim cavalry defending against Soviet and Mongol forces. Han said to A. Doak Barnett, an American reporter, that he believed the border should be about 40 miles to the north of the mountains. Chinese Muslim and Turkic Kazakh forces working for the Chinese Kuomintang fought Soviet Russian and Mongol troops. In June 1947 the Mongols and the Soviets launched an attack against the Kazakhs, driving them back to the Chinese side. 
However, fighting continued for another year, with 13 clashes taking place between 5 June 1947 and July 1948. Elite Qinghai Chinese Muslim cavalry were sent by the Kuomintang to destroy the Mongols and the Russians in 1947, Salar Muslim Gen. Han Yaowen's 1st Division received at Beidashan Osman's forces after he retreated in battle. Katai County was where Han Yaowen's 1st Division of the 5th Army was headquartered in 1946. The following year, at the Beidashan incident, Ma Shijun battled the Mongols. During the war against the Ili separatists, Han Yaowen performed a prayer on the snow covered ground after parking his car on the road after a defeat inflicted upon the Ili National Army. Political accession of Xinjiang to Chinese Communist rule The conflict ended with the arrival of the Chinese Communists in the region in 1949. On 19 August 1949, Mao Zedong, the leader of the Chinese Communists, invited the leaders of the three districts to attend the inaugural Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference to be held in Beijing. Mao Zedong telegrammed. You did a great contribution to liberation of Xinjiang and China. On the 22nd of August, five leaders of the three districts, Emetjin Kasimi, Abdulkaram Abbas, Isak Beg, Luo Ji, and Dalilan Sugarbayev, boarded a Soviet plane in Almaty and were headed for Chita, but were said to have perished in a mysterious plane accident near Lake Baikal. On 3 September three other former ETR leaders, including Saifuddin Azizi, arrived in Beijing by train and agreed to join the People's Republic of China, which was founded on 1 October. The deaths of the other former ETR leaders were not announced until December, after the Chinese Communists People's Liberation Army PLA had control of northern Xinjiang and had reorganized the military forces of the three districts into the PLA. Several former ETR commanders joined the PLA. On 25 September nationalist leaders in Diwa, Dao Ziyue and Burhan Shahidi, announced the formal surrender of the nationalist forces in Xinjiang to the Chinese Communists. On 12 October the Communist People's Liberation Army entered Xinjiang. Many other Kuomintang generals in Xinjiang like the Salar Muslim Gen. Han Yaowen joined in the defection to the PLA. They continued to serve in the PLA as officers in Xinjiang. Other nationalist leaders who refused to submit fled to Taiwan or Turkey. Ma Chengshang fled via India to Taiwan. Muhammad Amin Bugra and Isa Yusuf Alptakan fled to Turkey. Masood Sabri was arrested by the Chinese communists and died in prison in 1952. The only organized resistance the PLA encountered was from Osman Bachir's Kazakh militia and from Yulbars Khan's White Russian and Wei troops, who served the Republic of China. Bachir pledged his allegiance to the Kuomintang and was killed in 1951. Yulbars Khan battled PLA forces at the Battle of Yiwu and fled through Tibet, evading the harassing forces of the Dalai Lama, and escaped via India to Taiwan to join the Republic of China, which appointed him the governor of Xinjiang province in exile. The Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of the PRC was established on 1 October 1955, replacing the Xinjiang province 1884 American telegrams Multiple telegrams were exchanged among the Chinese government, the Mongolians, the American government, the Uyghur ILI regime and the Soviet Union. These were preserved by American agents and sent to Washington, D.C. <inaudible> related events and people The Soviet Union set up a similar puppet state in Pahlavi dynasty Iran in the form of the Azerbaijan People's Government and Republic of Mahabad. The Soviet Union used comparable methods and tactics in both Xinjiang and Iran when they established the Kurdish Republic of Mahabad and Autonomous Republic of Azerbaijan. The American ambassador to the Soviet Union sent a telegram back to Washington, D.C. in which he said that the situation in Iranian Azerbaijan and in Xinjiang were similar. In the Xinjiang conflict, the Soviet Union was involved in funding and support the East Turkestan People's Revolutionary Party to start a separatist uprising against China in 1968. In the 1970s the Soviets also supported the United Revolutionary Front of East Turkestan to fight against the Chinese. 
According to her autobiography, Dragon Fighter, One Woman's Epic Struggle for Peace with China, Rabia Kadir's father served with pro-Soviet Uyghur rebels under the Second East Turkestan Republic in the Ili Rebellion, Three Province Rebellion in 1944–46, using Soviet assistance and aid to fight the Republic of China government under Chiang Kai-shek. Kader and her family were close friends with white Russian exiles living in Xinjiang and Kader recalled that many Uyghurs thought Russian culture was more advanced than that of the Uyghurs and they respected the Russians a lot. There was a split in the East Turkestan independence movement, between two branches one of them in favors of the Soviets, supported by the Soviet Union the other was anti-Soviet, pan-Turkic and its members were based in Turkey and Western countries. The pan-Turkist ones were the three Efendis, Ich Wipendi Uch Apandi Isa Alptakan, Memtiman Bugra, and Masud Sabri. The Second East Turkestan Republic attacked them as Kuomintang. Puppets. Anti-Soviet sentiment was espoused by Isa while pro-Soviet sentiment was espoused by Burhan. The Soviets were angered by Isa. Violence broke out between supporters of the Soviets and supporters of Turkey because of a film on the Russo-Turkish Wars in 1949 at Xinjiang College according to Abdurrahim Amin in Diwa Urumqi, the Soviet Union encouraged former East Turkestan Republic members and Uyghurs in general to migrate into the Soviet Union from China and used to broadcast pro-independence separatist propaganda at the Uyghurs which led to the creation of the Eastern Turkestan People's Revolutionary Party. The Ili Rebellion is mentioned and praised in an Arabic-language Islamist pamphlet about China and the Soviet Union's Muslims, which was picked up and translated in 1960 into English in Tehran by American government agents, originally written by Muhammad Aziz Ismail and Muhammad Saeed Ismail. The transfer of Xinjiang to the People's Republic of China is bemoaned by Al-Qaeda ideologue Mustafa Setmariam Nasser by an article from Al-Qaeda branch Al-Nusra Front's English language, al Risala magazine. Mi Aursalt second issue, Ald Althani translated from English into Turkish by the Dogu Turkestan Haber Ajansi, East Turkestan News Agency, entitled Al Risail, Turkestan Daglary. 1. Bolam, The Message, Turkestan Mountains, Part 2, and by Resurgence, a magazine run by Al Qaeda. <laughs> See also Amur military flotilla Mancholi incident Sino-Soviet conflict 1929 Soviet invasion of Xinjiang Topic Further reading Amentorp Steen 2000 to 2009 The Generals of World War II Generals from China Ma Chengshang Retrieved the 31st of October 2010 Brown, Jeremy, Pikovich, Paul 2007. Dilemmas of Victory The Early Years of the People's Republic of China. Harvard University Press. ISBN 0-674-02616-0. Retrieved 28 June 2010. Chen, Jack 1977. The Singkang Story. Macmillan. ISBN 0-02-524640-2. Retrieved 28 June 2010. Institute of Muslim Minority Affairs 1982. Journal of the Institute of Muslim Minority Affairs, Volumes 4-5. King Abdulaziz University. Retrieved 28 June 2010. Jarman, Robert L. 2001. China Political Reports 1911-1960, Volume 8. Archive Editions. ISBN 1852079304. Retrieved 10 March 2014. Lin, Xiao Ting. December 2002. Between Rhetoric and Reality Nationalist China's Tibetan Agenda During the Second World War. 1. Canadian Journal of History. Gale, Sengage Learning. 37. No. 3. Archived from the original on 3 May 2014. Retrieved 23 June 2014. Lin, Xiao Ting 2007. Nationalists, Muslim Warlords, and the Great Northwestern Development in Pre-Communist China PDF. China and Eurasia Forum Quarterly. Central Asia Caucasus Institute and Silk Road Studies Program. 5 No. 1, 115-135. ISSN 1653-4212.
archived from the original PDF on the 23rd of September 2010. Retrieved the 3rd of May 2014. Preston, Paul, Partridge, Michael, Best, Anthony 2000. British Documents on Foreign Affairs Reports and Papers from the Foreign Office Confidential Print Far Eastern Affairs, July to December 1946. Volume 2 of British Documents on Foreign Affairs Reports and Papers from the Foreign Office Confidential Print, from 1946 through 1950. Asia 1946. University Publications of America. ISBN 1-55655-768-X. Retrieved 10 March 2014. Preston, Paul, Partridge, Michael, Best, Anthony 2003. British Documents on Foreign Affairs Reports and Papers from the Foreign Office Confidential Print French Indochina, China, Japan, Korea and Siam, January 1949-December 1949. Volume 8 of British Documents on Foreign Affairs Reports and Papers from the Foreign Office Confidential Print, from 1946 through 1950. Asia 1946, British Documents on Foreign Affairs Reports and Papers from the Foreign Office Confidential Print, from 1946 through 1950. Asia 1946. University Publications of America. ISBN 1556557686X. Retrieved 10 March 2014. Shipton, Eric, Perrin, Jim 1997. Eric Shipton The Six Mountain Travel Books. The Mountaineers Books. ISBN 0-89886-539-5. Retrieved 31 October 2010. Potter, Philip, the 22nd of October 1945. Red Troops Reported Aiding Sinkang Rebels Fight China. The Sunday, 1837-1988, Baltimore, Maryland. T. 2. Wang, David D. 1999. Under the Soviet Shadow The Yinning Incident Ethnic Conflicts and International Rivalry in Xinjiang, 1944-1949. Hong Kong, The Chinese University Press. ISBN 962-201-831-9. Retrieved 4 April 2011. Wireless to the New York Times, the 22nd of October 1945. Sinkang Truce follows bombings of Chinese in Far West Revolt. Chongqing General negotiates with Muslim Kazakhs. Red Star planes are traced to earlier Soviet supply in area. The New York Times. P. 2. New Republic. The Sydney Morning Herald, the 2nd of October 1949. P. 4. Topic. References. Topic. Citations Topic. Sources <laughs>